Tall buildings are becoming ever more prevalent in our cities, as demand for space in densely populated urban areas increases and as engineering capabilities develop. The terms tall, high-rise and skyscraper are often used interchangeably when describing structures that are notable for their height. But there is in fact a distinction between buildings which are tall and true skyscrapers. Here we explain the difference. There is no clear definition on what constitutes a tall building and it is to some extent subjective. A 10-storey structure that is the tallest building in a regional town or low-rise city, for example, would easily become lost if it were placed in Chicago or Hong Kong. Many groups class 50 metres or 165 feet as the threshold for a tall building, but this is by no means a widely accepted rule. In reality, the term tall building is commonly used in our everyday language to describe any structure that rises to a significant or noticeable height. To qualify as a true skyscraper, a structure must be self-supporting and not require tension cables or supports in order to remain standing. In addition, habitable floor space must occupy at least 50% of the structure's total height. As a result, communication and observation towers, such as Tokyo's Skytree, are not considered to be skyscrapers. Finally, skyscrapers must rise to a minimum height of 150 metres or 492 feet. While this used to be an exclusive club, there are now countless buildings around the world that fall into this definition. And as engineering and construction techniques have continued to develop, we've pushed the limits of building at height. To distinguish these remarkable structures from other skyscrapers, the Council on Tall Buildings and Urban Habitats have created two additional categories. Super tall buildings rise to more than 300 metres or 984 feet in height. Such towers used to be an exception, with only 22 schemes reaching this height in the 20th century. However, since 2000, the number of super tall buildings either completed or under construction has risen to almost 300 at the time of filming. Prominent examples include New York City's 432 Park Avenue and 53 West 53rd Street, along with the KK100 Tower in Shenzhen, China. The proliferation of schemes meeting the criteria for super tall has led to the creation of the final and truly exclusive top tier category. With just three towers worldwide at the time of filming, structures that reach the dizzying height of more than 600 metres, or 1,969 feet, move into the class of megatall. This rare classification is currently only applied to the 601 meter Abraj Al Bayt Tower in Saudi Arabia, which with a construction cost of over 15 billion US dollars is the world's most expensive skyscraper, the 632 meter Shanghai Tower in China, and the world's current tallest building, the 828 meter Burj Khalifa in the United Arab Emirates. Further structures are of course set to enter this bracket in the years ahead, with the most notable developments at present being the Jeddah Tower in Saudi Arabia, a mega tall structure that is on course to break the one kilometre mark and become the world's tallest building. If you enjoyed this video and would like to get more from the definitive video channel for construction, subscribe to the B1M.